I'm here to do with you a uh, ski conditioning class. I do uh, programs for all uh, uh, abilities and all uh, age groups. What you'll need uh, for this uh, program basically is just a pair of poles. I suggest that you, uh, the first time you do this program, that you do it in front of a uh, mirror so you can see yourself and do the ex exercises properly. This program will last uh, about 30 to 35 uh, minutes and we'll start with a, uh, a mobility and uh, balance. Then we'll go to a strength and uh, agility uh, section and we'll finish off with some uh, stretches. Okay, so we'll, we will start with some um, mobility and uh, balance. Okay, so let's start first with the head and you will turn your head from one side to the other Trying to go a little further each time, side to side, okay. okay, and then we'll go here to the shoulder, trying to keep the shoulders uh, level, okay, side to side, one side, then the other, excellent, okay, then move to the shoulder, take one shoulder, rotate back, trying to go away. Uh, big range of motion as possible. Take it back. Reach back. You can turn your trunk as you do this. Then we'll go to the other side. Turn. Turn. And we'll do each shoulder one after the, the other. One side and the other side. Excellent. Make sure you breathe throughout these exercises. Okay, let's take the arms in the front, cross them, bring them to the side. We start low, alternate the arm that goes above the other one, and gradually work your arms higher. Reaching back, reaching back, feeling your stretching front and you're activating the muscles and your upper back. Going back, going back, good. Take your shoulders up, small circles up, going backwards and gradually going bigger and reaching. The idea is to warm up the body, warm up the uh, joints, reaching back. Keep breathing. Excellent. Arms down. We're going to reach down. We start slow. Okay, so we do a side bend. Reaching down. And we can gradually go down a little lower. And also gradually a little bit more dynamic. Reaching down. Reaching down. Okay. Arms in front. Just a gentle rotation. Just with the arms, you want to relax the arms. Keep breathing. Breathe with the stomach. Okay. Try not to breathe through the uh, the cage or rib cage. Breathe through the stomach. Okay. There we go. Side to side. Okay. Let's bring the arms uh, on the hips. Okay. And we'll go down front and back. I'll just turn to, to the side, just making sure you keep your, your back straight. Okay? And down. Room up through the, the hips and back of the arms. Reaching back. And in front. Back and front. Okay? This is really, really important that you keep the back uh, straight. Okay? We go back in front. This time we'll swing the hips from the side, side to side. Okay, and same thing here. We gradually we start with a shorter range of motion, and we try to go more 
each time, okay? You should feel that stretch through the side of your, your thighs. Going, going, good. And this time we'll go in a circle. One weight. And then we'll go the other way. Okay. Now we're going to challenge your uh, balance. We'll go on one leg. Okay? If you're, you're good, you can put your hands on your hips. If not, your hands to your side. And we're going to swing leg front and back. Okay? Don't worry if you lose your uh, balance. Okay? Get your position back and we start over. Front and back. Trying to work. Going a little higher. Same thing here. We keep the trunk nice and stable. Okay, and then we'll go side to side. Well, we start small, and then we go bigger. Okay, always on the same leg. This time we'll do go and do a circle. Okay, you can keep your hands on to the side or on your hips again. And again, we try to go bigger. Then we go the other way. Backwards. Excellent. Then we change leg. And we repeat. Okay. Oh, alright. Find nice solid ground. And then back. Stretch, a little stretch in the back of the thighs. Okay, and then side to side. Small. You might find that you're more stable on one leg than, than the other. So you need to concentrate probably more on that leg that you're less uh, stable. Okay, that's uh, normal. Okay. Okay, and if we go circle. Start small. This is really good to work the stabilizers in the hips. As we'll be uh, working that a lot through our ski conditioning. Okay, and then we go the other way. Going backwards. Small. And then if you can, we go bigger. Excellent, good. All right, so bring your feet a little uh, wider, okay? And we'll do a small side to side, okay? We keep one leg straight and we lean our body to on one, one leg, one hip, side to side. That's it, up, okay? Try and look in front, don't look directly down. Balance will be better that way. Side to side. Keep breathing. Okay, and we go back up. And then we'll bring one foot back, okay? Bending that front, front knee. We'll go back and up. Okay? Warming up the front of the thigh. Okay, the hips again. Breathe. Breathe in, going down. Breathe out, coming back up. As you notice, I'm swinging my arms just to help with the balance. Okay, good. Now we'll uh, go to, we're ready for strength and uh, agility uh, section. Okay, so now we're um, at our uh, strength and uh, agility uh, section. Okay, if you do this outside, try to find a nice uh, uh, even ground, okay, uh, at first. Okay, so what you'll need, uh, you'll, you'll need uh, your poles, okay, I, I have, uh, you'll need a, a watch. If you do this with me, the, what I su suggest is that you do 
the uh, exor exercises at the same time uh, as I do. We'll be doing 30 seconds of uh, exercises and 15 second rest. Okay, I'll show you what you can do during the, the, the rest. Now, if you find this a little too demanding at first, you can always go to a 30 second rest. Okay, so now uh, let's start. We put our poles to the side. Okay, and we'll program 30 seconds. And then we go, three, two, one, and we'll go. We'll start with the squat. So we squat down and back. Okay, start with the arms down, arms in front. And we'll go, I'll turn to the side. I'm bringing my hips back, okay. You want the weight on your whole foot, okay. You want to avoid bringing the knees too far forward. Breathe in. Breathe out. In, out. In, out. Good. So as you notice, now we've done our 30 seconds. At first you'll do a little less. As you get better, you can do a little bit more repetitions. We put one pole to the ground. Next we'll do an agility. We'll be going over, okay? One foot, then the other. You want your hands in front, bent knee, okay, and absorb side side to side okay okay you want to picture yourself skiing down We're going side to side excellent okay so you notice I'm bringing one foot over over the, the pole going over okay so we've done our first uh, uh, first set we're going to go to our second set now if you need to, I'll show you how you can use your pole to help yourself with the squats. And here we go. So you can bring the pole in front and down. And up and down. Breathe in, breathe out. And again, to the side. And down and up. Down and up. How far down you go? At first you start a little less. Okay. And, but it's, it's okay to go down lower, okay? Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, here we go. We again at our second segment. So we take our pole, we put it down, we get ready, and three, two, one, and here we go again. Side to side. One foot, keep the arms in front. Always look in front. Side, excellent. Come down and up. Up, up. First, don't, you don't need to jump very wide. Okay, you can keep it close. I'll show you next time what we can do, okay? Now we're at our third uh, segment. Okay, so breathe in. Take the time. Take the 15 or 30 seconds in between to move. Okay, here we go. Excellent. Go down and up. Now you can add weights if you wish to make it a little uh, harder. But at first, you want to make sure you do them correctly, okay, and down. You should feel your big toes up in the air the whole time, and you're going down. Okay, third segment, okay, I'll show you how we can make this a little harder if you wish. I can use two poles, okay, and I want to jump from side to side, but you can stick with, with one, okay, and here we go. Side to side, we're not going too high, look in front, I can uh, add height, okay, but at first concentrate, great execution, okay, there we go, we're down to our last five seconds, next second, okay. So normal, you'll feel a little out of breath 
that is normal at first. Again, breathe in through the stomach. Okay, and then we'll go to our second uh, segment. Okay, so now we're at our second segment. Okay, this is quite a challenging exercise, but really good for uh, for skiing is the single leg squat. Because it's important to work on the strength, the uh, bilateral strength, meaning e e to try to work equal strength on the right and left leg. Okay, so again, so we got our timer uh, ready. Okay, so you'll use your poles. Uh, to the side, okay, and I'll uh, explain throughout. So here we go. All right. So make sure we go up and down. Okay. You want to keep the knee aligned with the toes. Okay. Now you might have difficulty at first. You can put your poles on the, on the side and use them as balance. Okay. I'm gonna turn around and go back. See, I'm bringing my hip in back of my foot, okay? So really, really imp imp important, like this, keep it in line. Okay, good. Now we'll switch to the uh, other leg, okay? Now you might find, the, again, you have one leg you have a bit more difficulty with, okay? That's, that's fine, so you need to focus on that leg, okay? So here we go, all right, down. Do you notice my free leg? goes in the back. Now you might also use just one pole. Okay? You hold it on the same side, go down and up. Again, I stress greatly to try to keep the knee in line with the toes. You don't want that knee to go inside. Okay? Keep it aligned. So if you need the poles, you use them. Excellent. Okay, we'll go to our Second segment, we'll use the poles together, okay? We'll bend over, just like in our warm-up exercise that we did. Hold the poles down and pull them up and down. This is a great posture exercise. You want to squeeze the shoulder blades and down. Squeeze and down. Breathe in, breathe out. Want to avoid a rounded back position, okay? So this is where the mirror can come uh, handy, okay? And then breathe out. Excellent. Okay. Take the 15 seconds. Okay. Move the legs around because you'll find again this exercise is quite challenging. We'll go back for our second round of single leg squats. Okay. And here we go. Okay. This time I'll demonstrate holding just the poles to the side and gradually going down and going up, okay? Leaning back, okay? So hip back, okay? Hip back, okay? So you want to avoid the knee going in front of the toes, okay? So you want the knee to stay in line. Good. Other side. Okay, so we're gonna set up. Okay, and here we go. Ready? Three, two, one, and here we go. Down and up. Down and up. Okay. So you might want to slow it down at first. Up and up. This is really excellent for skiing, trying to build that single leg strength. All right, well done. So now, take our poles, we'll go back to our bent over row, okay? So we're bringing the hips back, okay? Hips back here, and we pull up. that strength through the trunk and the upper back. Squeeze the shoulder blades. In and down. About 10 seconds left. Hold that position. Pull it 
up and down. Up and down. All right, well done. Okay, so now we'll go to our third segment. Okay, so we're we going to do our third segment. Okay, so you're doing very good uh, so far. So we got our timer ready. You grab your poles in the front and you go to a wider stance. Okay, uh, we're ready. You will we, we'll be doing a side squat. Okay, a side lunge, side squat. Okay, and three, two, one, and here we go. So we transfer our weight from one leg to the other, okay? So same thing applies to the this one as the single leg squat alignment, okay? Knee with the toes, okay? And go from one side, okay? So as you get better, you can go down deeper, okay? You can go down deeper. At first, you can start a little bit more shallow, okay? And go down deeper, okay? Do a second one. We take our poles, we put them on the ground, okay? Stand both feet on one side and we'll be doing a hop, okay? Double leg hop over the, the pole, okay? And here I go, jumping over, okay? Hands in front, okay? You see, this is a bit more challenging than the single leg version. Jumping over, okay? If you find the poles are distracting you, you can just jump, you can take them away, okay, or you can use them as a reference. Okay, good job. We'll go to our second segment, okay. We'll do doing a squat with deviation, okay, with the poles, really good. We'll be doing a counter rotation, okay, and here we go the side and over okay side bring your poles over okay trying to maintain the same distance between the knees the whole time okay you'll notice some work through the hips up one side to the other excellent okay we'll go back down do our second segment second set here okay ready three two one and here we go side to side now you can count how many times you're doing it as you get better how many times you do it in a 30 second period and then you can try to match it and even gradually trying to do a little bit more. But start slow and then you work your way up. All right, well done. Un, deux, trois. Okay, all right, so we're down to our last segment in our strength and uh, agility uh, section. We'll focus a little bit more on our trunk and hip uh, st stabilizers are really important for uh, for skiing okay uh, okay so we've got our timer on we'll start with the poles in the front okay we'll stand on uh, one leg and we'll be doing a bent over deadlift okay uh, and we go three two one and here we go and we'll go down okay and we'll go to the, to the side and you want to make sure you keep back straight, okay? Knee in line with the toes, up and back, okay? So at first, just use the poles to have proper movement. Back, up, stretch it like back, okay? All right, then we'll go over to our other leg. Okay, so we'll start with the leg up, okay? Get the weight, and you'll find this. Most people, in my experience, have uh, a little bit more difficulty on one leg than the uh, other, okay? Up. And go back. 
back. Up. Back. Up. Back. Up. Back. Up. Reach back. So you want to make sure here that your hips are level. Okay? So now we're going to repeat. This time I'll show the diversion with the poles in the air. A little bit more uh, challenging, okay? But that offers a lot more work through the stabilizers, okay? So I'm going back, bringing the poles up, okay? You might find that it gets wobbly a bit. That's fine. Stretch your leg, stretch the foot back, okay? Arms in front, and we'll go back. We don't want to do this too fast, okay? It's better to keep it slow. Hold the position for a few seconds. Reach back and then up. All right, well done. Okay, for uh, this second set on this leg, I'll show you from a frontal view. Okay, and here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, we start leg up. Now, if you find between each that you need to put a foot down, that's okay at first. Okay, so we stretch back and we'll go up. Okay, again, either with trying to stay always on one leg or bringing one foot down, stretching and up, stretching and up, stretching and up. Okay, well done. Okay, so. Now we're down to our three exercises we're going to do on the ground, okay? So you might want to get yourself a mat. We'll go down on the knees, we'll do a front plank on the knees. So we start with the forearms down, okay? With the hips down, we'll get our timer, okay, ready? And up, we just bring the hips up and we hold it, okay? Now. We're going to add a little uh, variation, okay? So you want to keep the hips stable. You're just going to go touch in front, touch and bring back, okay? So you want to avoid a side to side motion of the hips, okay? Hold it. Up. Up. All right, well done. Okay, right. and we'll go to our second exercise. On the ground, okay. Pulls on the hips, go down, okay, and then I push the hips up and down, and up and down. So it's really important you brace to the core, okay. Squeeze the glutes as you reach the top part, okay, and squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. Squeeze and down. One more. And here we go. Right. And we'll switch to our third exercise into a side plank. Start on your knees, on your, your forearm. Okay, and here we bring the hips up, push them to the side, and then we hold. Now, if you want to add some difficulty you can just extend one leg and hold it all right let's hold this doing good so it's really important to keep the hips in front brace through the core okay and hold we just have a few seconds left hold all right and down well done okay go on the other side okay Again, we set up, and three, two, one, and here we go up, hips up and in front, we hold, okay? Now, just like this might be enough for now, okay? If not, we extend the leg, okay? And we can go with a bent leg uh, version, okay? If this is too hard, you can bend your leg and just hold it up, okay? Or just, again, just hold, Bent knees and hold, brace, 
and and down. Good. Okay, so now we're down to our stretches. So you'll get you'll get down uh, on the floor, right? And you're going to extend your legs, you'll relax, okay? And you'll bring you're gonna bring a leg up, okay? And this is an active leg raise, okay? So you're gonna try to raise it up and we'll go down, okay? Raise it up and hold, okay? So you wanna hold Okay, if you feel it stretch a lot, you can hold a little longer. Okay, and down. Okay. Now try as you raise one leg, push the other leg, the other heel through the floor. Okay, push the one heel through the floor, and you raise the other leg up. Okay, now it might go just to here at first. That's fine. Okay, you want to work your way up. Okay, and down. Okay, again, push the heel through the floor and lift, okay? Now, if you have a lot of difficulty doing this, you can do it holding one, uh, bringing the uh, knee bent and gradually extending the leg, okay? And bringing it down, okay? Now, our second stretch. Again, through all these st stretches, you'll, you're gonna want to have a uh, cushion or a rolled out mat okay, that you're going to put on the, on the ground, put one knee and the other foot uh, in front. Okay. Let's start over on this side. Okay. So you want to bring the hips back. Okay. Hips back, bring this in front, hold it, bring one hand up, stretch up. Okay, you're gonna feel this through the front of the hip, okay? Or you might feel this in front of the thigh, okay? If, if you're uh, particularly uh, tight in front of the thigh, you're going to feel it there first, okay? Reach back and then we hold this for 20, 30 seconds. Breathe through the stomach the whole time, okay? And then we drop and we'll go on the other side, okay? So you might see it good better on this side, so we bring the hip, the we tilt the pelvis, okay? That's really important, okay? Stretch the arm up, reach up, okay? Now look in the mirror, you might find that your arm is uh, bent slightly, okay? Make sure it's up and you reach to the side. This uh, segment, this part of the uh, uh, routine, the uh, stretches. You can do these stretches throughout your uh, winter season uh, at the end of your day and, and do the, uh, the warm-up uh, portion uh, before you go uh, skiing. Okay, we stretch and we relax, okay? Now I'll show you a version to stretch the quads a little bit more, okay? Show you with, so a chair, cushion, Okay, so we'll do our setup. Okay, so I want the knee on the cushion, the foot up on the chair, the other leg uh, forward, and we slowly come up. Okay, push the hips forward. Okay, so start slow at first. Now, how far you put the chair away depends of, on your flex flexibility. If you're really flexible, you might want to bring the chair closer, okay? This will increase the, the stretch. If not, you put it a little further away, okay? This is really good to work, okay, on stretching the, the thigh. These tend to get tight, okay? Throughout the, the ski season, we, we, uh, we use the, the quads, uh, the quadricep muscle uh, quite, uh, quite a lot through, uh, through skiing, okay? So let's now, Switch leg, so slowly, okay, come on up, okay, stretch the hips in front, okay, so it's really important not to have a arch back, okay, so always engage a little, uh, little bit the uh, abdominals, 
okay? Especially the, the deep uh, abdominal uh, muscles by bracing and then we stretch forward and hold and excellent, okay. And then go that. Okay, so we move our chair, okay, and we'll get down to the ground. Okay. Okay, so we're down to the last stretch. We'll do a, a trunk rotation. Okay, so you'll get down on your mat, put your knees uh, together, lie down. Uh, you may find you might want to have something to support. Your, your head, okay? So we'll go down, arms in front. We inhale, go over, and slowly exhale, okay? It's important that your knees stay uh, together, okay? Exhale, and we come back. Inhale, okay? So your head, your eyes follow your hand, and we go each time we want to go Maybe slightly further. We come back. And we'll do it a third time. Exhale. Excellent. Okay. And then down to the other side. You might have maybe a better look through this side, okay, what my arms are, are doing. So relax the head. Okay. Inhale. And we go to the other side, exhale, and come back, and exhale, and come back one last time. Okay, so throughout this uh, pro program, so we went through different uh, sections, as you saw, I also demonstrated different level of difficulty in, in the program. I always start with the easiest version and gradually work to the uh, harder ver version. Always uh, make sure that you uh, listen to your body and uh, always my motto is quality before quantity. So make sure the execution is well done before you try to go faster or go uh, heavier. Now, and listen to your body. If at any time you feel a little, little pain, um, some pain is uh, acceptable, but if, if uh, it, it throughout when you do this pro program, the pain co uh, constantly comes back, then you may want to, to, uh, to stop um, that particular exercise and perhaps uh, seek, seek help. Um, but uh, don't, um, uh, make sure you don't stay with pain for, for a long uh, period of time. So I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you uh, very much. And